Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Ice and Fire Let's Play series, A Fateful Adventure. We're back with episode number six and no, this block is not from Ice and Fire. It is in fact, whoa, that's a lot of creative sort of oil. That is from the mod Immersive Engineering, which is a mod that I have installed and that will make steel wonderful. But today is not about Immersive Engineering or Industry. Today we have a very special mission. Ah, I made it. Perfect. We have a very special mission, which is to basically kill a bunch of dragons. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Buckby. Kill a bunch of dragons. There are three dragons we will be killing in this episode. Um, and it is actually very, I'm very, very, very excited about this because I went exploring and I found three dragon layers. One of them is an ice dragon layer. And I looked in there and unless there was graphical glitches or whatnot, that's a female dragon. So we are guaranteed today, hopefully, to get at least one baby dragon egg. The other two layers are fire, dra fire dragon layers, um, one of which is generated with an older version of the mod, so I don't know if the treasure chests will contain any treasure, but that doesn't matter, it's a fire dragon, we will at least get the scales, and if it's a female, maybe it's an, an egg, who knows. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much what I've been up to. I've also enchanted the armor, protection 4 on the chest plate, protection 4 and on bring 3, and protection 4 on bring 3, and death strike for 3 on my armor. Um, if I haven't showed this already, I'll show you real quick. I've also enchanted the Dragon Bolt shovel efficiency. I'm not going to read it out. You can see it for yourself. Dot back 2. Yeah, I've, I've been busy doing stuff, and I forgot to put this coal into this thing. Now... It's going to be not as easy as to kill the dragon that we killed away in that direction, the first dragon that we killed. You see, that was an older version of the mod. This is a new version of the mod. And in the old one, you could just make a hole and start shooting the dragon. Guess what? You can't. Not anymore. It is a lot more complicated. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's going to be interesting. But there is a way. So if we go to here, what we're going to need is a dragon bone wall, so we need to make one of those. So if I take these and do this, I will need that one right there. Let me actually real quickly disable these just in case they're annoying. Um, but yeah, we'll need at least one of those. And then, as you can see, I've been killing a lot of sirens. And this siren here is a funny story. You see, Ethel had this, my dearest friend and also the designer of my fate in this series uh, hunted for one of these siren tears in her own episode and it took her, I don't remember how long it took, was it three hours? Correct me if I'm long, wrong at all, but anyways it took her a very long time to get this siren tear and, if I was, and here I was just like, eh, I'm gonna get a siren tear and I hunted for sirens, I did kill quite a lot but eventually, oh, I got one, I think within three hours, maybe, I think did they only take me less than two hours? Probably less than two hours. But anyways, <laughs> that was a funny time. Um, I also killed an ogre, ogre, or a troll, or whatever. Oh yeah, it's a troll. And uh, got this thing, which is pretty cool. A legendary weapon, 16 attack damage. That's pretty sweet. Um, and a bunch of other stuff. You can see what I got here. Uh, these surface fangs as well. It's cool. All right, so the next thing that we will need is a chain. And we need this. Which means we need that, so that is... I uh, don't remember how much we need. Boom, boom, and boom. So we need five for a chain. You know what, I'm not going to trust any of that. I'm just going to make as many as I possibly can. Uh, which will be three. Just in case they break or something. So, yeah. Now I have extra. Hopefully I'm doing this right. Anyways, the strategy here will be, and this is why I needed the sirens here, and the shiny scales as well, is I need the siren flute. And this, what this basically does is makes targets fall in love for 10 seconds, mobs in love will not be able to attack. So the strategy here is basically get this flute, poke a hole in there, hopefully while the dragon is sleeping, but uh, we never know, um, poke a hole in there, fly in, use this thing before we get attacked, and then in those 10 seconds we have the time to put a Dragon Ball wall as far over to a wall as we can, 
change the dragon suit and get out as fast as possible. Otherwise, we'll get a get in trouble. And then you can shoot it. So I'm gonna need a whole lot more arrows, and I'm gonna need to make a dragon boat flute. But I messed up, and I'm out of iron. So give me a second. And let me just get down here. Hopefully it has not converted everything to steel. It shouldn't have. It should not have. Nope, it has not. That's good. Alright. I have plenty up there, but I don't have any ingots whatsoever. I haven't smelled at anything, because I'm planning to do stuff with the most of engineering. But I will have to smell some anyway, so it's fine. Anyway, so get that, and then we basically need this. Legendary weapon. <laughs> That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Do you guys love me yet? No? Okay, fine. <laughs> it has a cooldown, as you can see, but that is perfectly fine. So that is our plan. It's a pretty dangerous one. Probably gonna be impossible for me to do, but uh, we're gonna see how this goes. This armor does give increased protection from Dragon Breath attacks, so that is good. Now what I'm gonna need is pretty much a bunch of those <laughs> a whole ton I can easily get more with the bones so and I'm gonna get more dragon bones from this as well so you know you know I can't see another use for these dragon bones right now with the bones sorry so um, I'm just make all those I'm gonna store some of them in here though Hopefully that's gonna be enough. They do this. Uh, the dragon boat arrows do 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 more damage. Plus we have hot power four on this thing, so hopefully we'll be good. I think I'm gonna sleep, and then I'm gonna head over to the first location and hopefully not mess this up. I have high hopes. Uh, you guys need some food before I leave, most likely. All right. Let's head out. Uh, this one is at 1100, actually, more like 1200. X 1200. X 1200. The 11 is, is, the X is pretty much already here. We just need to go 1000 blocks. And this, nope, wait, nope, that way, that way, there we go. <laughs> so I'll see you, I'll see you, I'll see you in a thousand blocks. I'll be right back. Oh dear, this is going to be a challenge. All right, I am at the location. You see that? Yep, that's it. Now, I have seen two dragons over there, and I saw one, I think it was way over there, so hopefully that shouldn't be a problem. But uh, I think my strategy will be to uh, go down, so dig on this side of the beach, um, yeah, dig over here somewhere. Dig straight down. Right here, actually. Yeah, dig straight down right here by the beach. And then... Hopefully not hit the water. Dig straight down enough so I won't hit the water. And then hopefully hit that. This is a little bit scary, but we're gonna go straight forward. There we go. Get down. I'm gonna block that off so we don't get any nasty surprises. And I'm gonna just dig down... 2Y, I don't know, I don't know, 40 maybe, 40 hopefully should be good, hopefully I won't miss the actual thing, let's, you know what, let's go from here, let's move forward and hopefully we should get there in no time, I should probably put torches, shouldn't I, just in case we don't want anything coming up from behind, I'm pretty scared, I'm not gonna lie, because I have to actually get in there, I don't know the radius of this flute thing, so, this is gonna be scary. <laughs> oh, here it is, okay. Okay, 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 okay. It's not night time. The annoying thing is, I can't get in from the top. I'm gonna make a little like this. Oh, diamonds. <laughs> I'll take those. <laughs> I'll take the diamonds. Ooh, it's sleeping. It's female. Oh, it's a female. All right, it has been a while since the last clip. In fact, it has been a whole day because uh, stuff has happened. Basically, 
you know my plan was, right? It was to take the Cider Flute, fly in there, use it so the dragon wouldn't attack me, and then place this down, and then hook the dragon with the Iron Chain to the Dragon Bolt wall. It, the, the dragon cannot break the Dragon Bolt wall, so this way the dragon would be trapped in the other side of the layer, and I can stand over here and shoot it. Guess what? There's a glitch or something. I, it, it just wouldn't happen. I tried this world like four times. It didn't happen. It did not work. Then I was like, hmm, why is that? It should work. So I went into creative and tried like 15 other layers or something. I don't know how many I tried, but I tried a lot. And it didn't work. That, that it, it, There's some sort of glitch thing. I showed Atalantis that she was like, that should work. So yeah, I, I don't know. It's a glitch with the current version or something. I don't know. So yeah, that's a no-go. That's a no-go. But I did discover two things. First off, if it is one of the new Dragon Lairs, which is one of them that we will raid today, then there should be a pretty easy method. That's one. I'll show you that later on. Second, this guy should be not as easy, I will admit, but not impossible either. So I just tested this and it seems like it is potentially doable. I hope it's going to be a little bit tricky and probably a little bit annoying. But if we dig up here to be above the dragon and then shoot down on it, let me just grab my redstone, and then shoot down on it while being directly on top of it, then from my testing it shouldn't do much, uh, much damage to us, that if any at all. Let me just see how far down I need to go here. I don't want to fall and trip and something bad. Uh, still further down? Maybe. Okay. Play some light. There it is. Okay. So, the dragon is right there, right? I actually want to go back a lot more. So, like here. So we can get a good, clear sight of the dragon when shooting it. Like right here. I want a good sized hole and then I want to expand this a little bit this way. We'll get hopefully those emeralds back eventually. <laughs> If not, we have plenty, we could get more. Let me just drop all of this stuff so we can store that. Actually, let me just put that in here so we don't lose that. Okay, so basically I should just be able to shoot this thing now. And it will become angry as you can see, but it shouldn't attack me. But as you can see, the dragon is not fighting back at all. It is confused. This is very loud. I just hope it won't start flying or something. But uh, as you can see, this is going pretty well. So this is doable. I just gotta keep shooting it. By the way, this uh, this is loud. By the way, this is a power four bow, and I'm using the dragon bone arrows, which is and we got it. That was not hard at all. Let's go down here. That was not hard whatsoever. I will have to say. That was actually pretty easy. Uh, trust, trust me. I have been testing in creative for so long how to get the, the how, how to be able to kill one of these things. And it seems like that I just now found the right method to do it. But this is a female dragon. Now. Why do I have weakness? Anyways, let's... I uh, love that. Uh, the, okay, the chests are empty, unfortunately. That just means we won't have any loot in these chests at all, because it's one of the old layers. But anyways... Uh, where is the hitbox? There we... There it is. There it is. We got a fire dragon egg! Finally, our first egg right here! Uh, let me put this away, let me put that away, let me put... There we go. Okay, so this is what we got. Dragon Egg, red. We got five Fire Dragon Flesh. We got Dragon Scales, Dragon Bows, and the, the, the Heart as well. And of course we got... I got scared then. I was like, wait, another layer? <laughs> so it's one of these that gets generated down here. Like a cave system. This is actually pretty cool. Ooh, diamonds. I mean, I'll take them. 
I won't go through all the ores now. We will probably do that in the next stream, I would assume. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? I guess we will have to see in the future. Um, but I definitely want all of this uh, stuff right here. The chests will be empty, as you can see. They're all empty. So, yeah. But yeah, we'll go through all of the all of the ores right now. But we got a dragon egg. That's so cool. And let me put all this stuff down here. Okay, so we got a rear dragon egg. That's a fire dragon right there. But we will all then also get... I know for a fact that we will also get a ice dragon egg. That is gonna be so cool. So amazing. This worked out pretty well. So I'm using the Ice of Fire mod version 1.8.3. And so I would say that for me this works at least. Um, if you find one of these and have the new improved AI, I guess go from the top and shoot down. How many arrows did I use? Not that many to be honest with you. I did not use that many, let's just restock those. So that is pretty cool, though I am going to bring fire resistance potions next time and also uh, glass bottles because I did not get any dragon blood. I want some more because we can now make dragon steel which is something that I really want as well in the future. I don't know when I'm gonna do stuff with it, but I'm gonna need it for then. So I actually hope that the next fire dragon is going to be a male and that it will be one of the newer, one of the new layers. That means I will get pretty good loot. And it also means that I will, oh dear, that I will be able, haha, -ha. you cannot kill me, you witch. It also means that I can get the dragon blood that I want. Also, I did add a new mod, by the way. Let's just kill this thing just because I can. <laughs> um, I did add a new mod called the what is this? Disenchantment, which adds the disenchantment table. A bulk disenchanting, automatic voiding. Okay, that's a lot. But I added this disenchantment table. Basically, what it allows you to do is to you make this from a regular enchantment table, right? But then you are able to unenchant the item that you put in and put the enchantments on a book. And this I'm very excited about because the the armor that um, that spawns in the dragon in the new dragon layers can potentially have mending. I need mending for. Oh dear. <laughs> Ah, that's a dragon. I need mending on my armor and my tools. So that means I can be able to take the mending enchantment and other enchantments as well off of the diamond armor and use it on my dragon scale armor, which is going to be the goal of that. I just think it's a small but pretty cool mod. So yeah, I definitely I am adding that and are going to use it. Anyways, I'm currently heading home just to get some glass bottles and also just to sleep so we can get some daytime, but also to bring my fire resistance potions. Uh, and then we will go over to, I think, the next uh, fire dragon layer. So if you just let me get organized here a little bit, we won't need any of this stuff right now, because that did not work for us, for me anyway. That gets it there, still fun to make that. But anyways, I'll be right back when I am um, more prepared. Be right back. All right, I am ready again. I have my food. I have two fire resistance potions. Hopefully that is going to be enough. And I have 25 glass bottles. Hopefully that will be enough as well. The next one we will be visiting is yet another fire dragon. I was about to say ice dragon. No, it's a fire dragon. And we basically need to go 4,000 blocks in this direction. So I'm going to take Hippogriff for this one because that's a long flight and I don't want to use my food for all of that. Plus I have him and he's faster than me. So yeah, of course, of course I've got to, I've got to use my buck peak. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to cut out and be back once I'm over there. It's going to take a while for me to get there. So stay tuned. I will be right back with you. All right, we are at the current destination. Why did I say current destination? We are at the next layer. It is in the ravine over there. Hippogriff is in a box over here, in a cobblestone box you can see right here. There he is. Why do I keep saying Hippogriff? It's Buckbeak. Hey, Buckbeak. He's in here just in case there's a dragon or something that I missed in here or around here. And so while I'm down there, Hippogriff doesn't get... Buckbeak doesn't get killed or attacked while I'm down here fighting this thing. So yeah, we're gonna head down here and take a look at this. This is definitely one of the new dragon layers, as you can see. It is 
way longer, different design. Also, I do believe this is biome zone plenty. No, this is actually a vanilla biome. If I didn't already mention, I installed biome zone plenty as a new um, biome generator, just because the other one was being very laggy and yeah, not. Not very, not very good. Uh, where should we dig? Uh, let's dig a hole right here. Oh, I see the tail. Uh, there it is. So is that a female? Oh man, that's a female. Uh, I wanted a male. The loot isn't going to be as good now. Oh well, that's just how that is. That's fine. We can find more, hopefully. Alright, I'm going to stand over here. So yeah, I'm gonna drink this fire resistance potion just in case. And hope that this thing doesn't fly towards me. I should probably get an escape route. There we go. Escape route created. Alright, engage combat mode. Let's go. It's gonna wake up. And what's it gonna do? According to my tests, it shouldn't attack me. But it might see me from this this no? It's not attacking me. It's not attacking me. <laughs> it will try and move though. It might try and move. Like it does now. Actually, let me just set my render distance down to 8. Because it is going to break quite a lot of items. I'm going to try and shoot it as much as I can up here. Just to not mess with the... Okay, yep. I gotta get down here already. Just as to not mess with all the mobs down here. That is going to be the skeletons and creepers and whatnot. It's going to be all the way over there, so I just have to keep shooting it. And hopefully we should be able to quill it fairly fast. And hope that it doesn't get out in the process. Oh, my game froze a little bit. There we go. Alright. Keep shooting. It's making a little staircase over there. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I just hope it doesn't reach the surface. No, we should be good, hopefully. Oh, it's trying to fly, though. It is trying to fly. But it doesn't make it far. It doesn't make it far. Oh, I need to get after it, actually. I need to get over here. Just hope that it won't kill me. Or try and attack me. Whoa. Yeah, that's a creeper. Yeah, that's a creeper. Come on, buddy. Die. Ah, these mobs are making it impossible. It's flying towards me. Did we get it? Die! You guys are so 